Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Solo React Talk. Tonight, I'm going to be reacting to World of Warcraft Dragonflight Playthrough Part 16 Realignment Human Paladin made on the Ezra Dan YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out my previous reactions to the other parts, uh, remember the, the playlist card is going to be at the top here. Just click on it and be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as Ezra Dan's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. Yes, uh, about two weeks ago now, uh, part 15, um, we are in the Ezra span with Atraxius and we are helping out the Tusca uh, with their tussle against the Gnolls uh, of Brackenhide clan, if I can call them that, the Brackenhide clan. Uh, the Brackenhide clan are dabbling with decay magic. Um, I'm not sure if this is an initiative that is spearheaded by the primalists or is this an initiative that is just on their own you know involvement and their own creation i'm not entirely sure um, hopefully we'll get more information on that uh, through this part 16 uh, but yeah it's not looking good uh, in the azure span uh, in terms of uh, what uh, Atraxius has to be you know looking for the ley lines magical ley lines that crisscross into that area uh, he still has to look for them um, and also the blue dragon flight are not yet at full strength it's still only um syndragosa and uh what, what's his name again i forgot his name i forgot his name oh no i forgot his name caligos yes <laughs> sorry i forgot caligos's name <laughs> Yes, Caligos. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's only Caligos and Syndragosa right now who are, you know, trying to uh, correct things, trying to fix things. And, you know, Atraxis is here to help, but now he has to deal with the Tosca and the Nolds, you know, fighting amongst each other with dangerous magic, if I can say that. Um, so, yeah, let's continue with part 16, Realignment. Three, two, one, go. G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft Dragonflight on the Human Paladin as we make our landing for a little urgent action required. Guess we're gonna go a little bit further. Oh, here we go. Tuscar. I can smell the rot on the wind. Oh yeah, Chief Brenner, yeah. Shall we work together? Just standing here, I can feel the dread of this forest wash over me. Something is deeply wrong here. I'm beginning to regret sending our best fighter back to Iskara. No, I think that was a good decision because protecting the, the, the clan or the tribe is much more important than, you know, scouting out for the gnolls and whatever they're doing out here. So the people need to be protected. Uh, be protected and it was a good decision i say next time i'll bring somewhere around here ah my friend what a pleasant surprise caligos and you've made some new friends i see greetings i am caligos and i am searching for lay crystal caves i believe i sense one nearby and yet ley lines there is a gleam cove deep within Brackenhide, yes. But the gnolls have made this forest thick with decay. Decay? Could it have eaten at the ley line itself? Oh, this is dire indeed. So if it, you know, enters the ley line, uh, this decay magic, what does that mean exactly? Like anywhere where the ley line is intersecting or crisscrossing through the lands you know that's how it will infect the lands and you know decay would just spread across the azure span is that what's going to happen hmm. there's magic in everything breaching the bracken hide if the gnolls have here have discovered decay magic the ley line and even the land itself are in grave danger 
My mirror images are spread too thin to withstand elemental disruption of this scale. Please enter the forest and investigate the decay. I'll work with our new tusk of friends to find a place I can maintain my image. Then I will meet you deeper in the forest. We must put a stop to this. Keep safe. I don't know who you are, mage, but thank you. I'm just someone trying to help this land heal. Then Why don't you tell her the truth? Why don't you tell her that you are a dragon of uh, the blue dragon flight? You know, just tell her. There's no reason for us to keep, uh, for you to keep yourself in, in this secretive manner. You know, she's going to know eventually. Our goals are aligned. Investigate the decay, please, and we'll find a safe spot further in. Caligos took off before. The decay still lingers in this place. Norak, can we you help us do slip what we by can to stop its if spread? It's... Why is everyone talking at the same time? <laughs> Goals, I know just the thing. <laughs> the perfect disguise. They're the cute. Quest They're so head cute. Up. <laughs> Mid chat there, but I guess we got two things we could do. We said we got decay cleanup, cleansed oozing decay corpses. You're not alone. Oh, Bramble! Bramble pose, sorry! So, this decay magic not only affects animals, but it also controls Cleansing them. Rotten treants. It makes them fight against anyone. Cleansing oozing decay corpses. Wow. Didn't seem to do the job automatically, hang on. This decay magic is like a parasite. Two of fifty. Oh, it did do it. Hang in there. No oozes coming out of that. <laughs> Where are you, Calicos? Hang in there! You, mate, you can't turn up at the last second and kill Steel, fella. That's not how it works. That's how it works for him. <laughs> or perhaps that's exactly how it works for him. Seventy percent there on the bonus objective. Rotting root. Cut. Out of the corner of your eye, something catches your attention. Did the root just move? Cut the root. One. If the roots are moving, is it due to the? Decay magic, or is the roots belonging to a far larger organism, like a giant tree or something? Hmm. That slam of a shield did the trick. <laughs> Some more oozes over here. On your left. <laughs> Just like what Captain America said, right? Say on the left or on the right. What is this aura is that's the falcon surrounding a the falcon man? It's like a shield. A brown shield. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, it's gone now. On your left. Seven percent. So I threw down the totem. It didn't seem to cleanse it. It did work that time. I got to throw it down after they die, I guess. Another root over here. Hang in 
also, the gnolls would also affect their own people with the decay magic. They're not just using it against the Tuska, but also their own people. 10 15. Huh. Crazy. Let's cut that root. Oh, I have to get these two. You're back. Where are these treants? Let's be hmm. further down to the south. Quiet. All right. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not alone. Uh, that's a fifteen. Up we go. Higher, faster. Another route over here. This is bad, friend. Join us quickly. The decay is out of control. As expected. The gnolls aren't able to control this decay. At least that's what I think. I, I'm not sure. Maybe they are. Maybe Where they do are know what the they're treants? doing. But to me, it does, doesn't seem like they're not. Here we go. It. Alone. I'm confused about why this isn't working. I'm standing right on top of it and it just doesn't seem to work. Maybe somebody else has gotten to it. That's why I can't do it. Is that the reason? your back. You know, it's amazing what these mirror images can do for Caligos. The fact that, that, you know, it's not just some sort of image that, you know, talks and walks around and does things, but it can also fight. That's quite impressive. And if this mirror image is defeated or it um, what like it's killed all that information that it's been gathering is then transported back to Caligos is that how it works huh. oh yeah it's a world quest Uh, thanks, Kalagos. Thanks for showing up. He's got your back. Right, let's go ahead this question and see. They're infusing an ancient with that rot. It could spread decay around the span faster than a wildfire. They're infusing an ancient? Huh. Have the gnolls gone mad? Don't they see what they are doing to themselves? They don't. Apparently. You may want to cover your mouth. You don't want it to breathe in the decay. Together, we can achieve anything. Lay litter. The ley line is here. I can feel it. But first, we must stop the gnolls. That ancient will be their greatest weapon. There are some ley crystals the gnolls have gathered. Thankfully, they don't seem to understand the power that the crystal holds. 
Bring me as many as you can. Now empower my mirror image and help me summon something useful from the archives to take that monster down. Fair skies and strong winds. Cut out the rot. The decay must have rotted these gnolls, brains as well as their bodies. Destructive as they are, gnolls are native to this land, just like us. But we already saw them spreading decay to the big tree tribe. At this rate, they'll consume the span and destroy themselves. We can't let this happen. It's a shame, but put an end to them. You're just fascinating. Echoes of the Fallen. There are Tusker here. My friends, my people, my family. They left our hunt not a week ago. Already they're too decayed to recover. Their spirits are here still. They linger in rage and regret. Kakiata, Lutok, Tuyuki. Please, Artrisius, take this totem and place it near their remains. It will contact their spirits and help them find peace. I'm so yeah, sorry we'll be heading to, to the Shadowlands. have been captured and killed here. In fact, they should have went to the Shadowlands the moment they died. Thank but you for your kindness. <laughs> Decay is part of the natural cycle. We all return to the Earth. But this... This is a perversion. The souls of my kin sense the wrongdoing and linger. We must help them. My totem will reach their spirits. I only hope it is enough to calm them. Okay, let's get into it. So there's the rotting treant. So I actually got to take him down. So we're going to use this totem for these people. If that decayed ancient reaches Iskara... Got your back. I give you my strength, adventurer. Avenge us. I will do my best. He will do his best. A Chuxist never fails. Oh, look at that thing. What is that? Is that a tree bark? That definitely isn't doing too well. On your left. Two six. Yeah, when I use that time, I, I kind of expect like some sort of effect to take place, like that affects the uh, the rotting tree and kind of looks like it doesn't work. We yeah, have a look at it more closely this time when I pop it down. Yeah, you just go still has your back. It does check. Doesn't look like you get. It's doing anything. But it does seem to work. Who is the leader of these hyenas? I'm just wondering about that. I don't think I wrote that person's name here anywhere. I don't think so. No, I haven't written. The name of the leader of the Bracken Brackenhide clan. Yeah. On your left. Seven crystals. We were traveling on the road with the Lord's arrows. You're not alone. So the Tuscal spirits don't help in fighting against the Nolds. Nothing. Zilch. Okay. Got 
got you good. Oh, hang in there. Don't let this decay spread to a star. It will consume and destroy everything we hold dear. I won't let it happen. Broken hide outskirts. I thought this was like the main base of operations. I got your back. What in the hell is that? That's five. Oh wait, was that a demon hunter? Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. Hang in there. that down and that's six thank you my friend you're not just aiding the tuscar all who dwell on the dragon isles are in your debt no problem please tell my son roey and escara that i love him roey and i'm sorry ah all right Well, we're going to have to do that. It's good to see you again. Leilita, I'm sorry I can't be of more help in this form. I can feel the decay sapping my image of strength. I hope once we reach the lake cavern, Glean Cove as the Tusker call it, I'll be more able to teleport here fully. All will be well. What were they doing with these? Using them as back scratches? Caligos pinches the bridge of his nose. Oh, I suppose we should be grateful they didn't figure out their true potential. Good luck. Oh, hello there, level 67. That was a little surprise. Um, let's have a look. Avengers Shield deals 100%. No, Avengers Shield jumps to an additional two targets. Um, each three holy power you spend reduces the cooldown of Ardent Defender and Divine Shield. Ah, yeah. Each enemy hit by Avengers Shield reduces the remaining cooldown on Guardian. When you drop below 30%, you become infused with a Guardian. Before that is what I want. That is the one. Goodness, you're new. Uh, gnolls can be fascinating creatures. They're not evil, only wild, and very dumb. Keeping them is a sh killing them is a shame. But the decay helps no one, and we can't let them hurt our family. They're not evil. They're just dumb. O okay. Okay. Do come see me again. So, they all chose to lend their power to my totem? Brenna squeezes her eyes shut in sorrow. Thank you, my friends. We will use the strength of your spirits. Well, the nose will not reach Iskara. I'm glad we met, friend. I'm glad I got that cool upgrade, 302 upgrade. Very nice. This world is full of wonder. Tome Ward bound. We must stop that tree! With these lay crystals I can finally help. Speak with me when you're ready. I'll open a portal into the Azure Archives and try to bring out something useful. Stand back. It may be rather unstable. Fly true. I'm ready. The Azure Archives have a vast collection of magical items. I won't have much control over this, but surely something useful will come out. Nope. 
Oh, not that. It's definitely not that. <laughs> so you're just throwing I'm stuff on the floor. Connection. Come on. <sighs> I think this will do. A flying book. Let's do this, friend. Hop on the book. Oh. Like a flying carpet. <laughs> All right then. What's that uh, Aladdin song? Uh, I forgot how it went. I can show you the world. Dee dee dee. Da 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 da. da. Yeah. <laughs> if you know the movie I'm, that I'm talking about, guys, then you know about the song that I'm also talking about. Yeah, or singing about. By Norganon's beer, this thing has a temper. Hold on. No get on. There. Oh, now first take down those shamans holding a barrier around the ancient. Oh, you guys are just running over the <laughs> running over the nose. That's a lot of shape. Wow. Roadkill. Those shamans are tough. Use a charge or a blast to take them out. The ancient is vulnerable. Quickly throw everything we have at it. You got it. It's not enough. Come so the twisted angel, uh, ancient. Sorry, <laughs> twisted ancient is a like it's a living, living tree. If I can say that, a sentient tree. Yeah. Huh. Come, my friends, my family, help us protect our home. Excellent. Now to the cave before more come. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, spirits rocked up. Happen like that. Thank you, my friends. Rest now. Karkut awaits. Well met, friend. You did well, hero. Thank you. That tree was probably not their only pull of decay, but it was the riskiest one for the Tusker and this ley line. With it gone, this area may be able to recover. It will take time, but it will heal. I'm glad we were able to give the spirits of those Tusker some peace. Come back soon. Realignment. Now for this ley line. It looks like my fears were correct. The decay has spread into the line itself. We'll need to purge the decay and speed along the healing process. But I can't channel enough energy with my mirror image alone. Focus yourself on this ley crystal here. My connection with you will help me teleport here physically. Then I will be strong enough. Together, we can achieve anything. Kala goes in the is. flesh. I am here. Thank you. Looks like you brought a fishing rod. So he is flesh and blood after all. We were beginning to suspect you were also some spirit. I assure you, I am very much alive. Now, hero, destroy those pockets of decay that remain. Funnel arcane power back into the rotted part of the ley line. It may just be able to restore its power. What is this? This shifting of the energy of the earth itself? What power? <sighs> it's done. Thank you for your assistance, all of you. I've placed a barrier around this ley line to ensure it's protected from further decay. Let's leave this place before more of those gnolls descend upon us. Oh, here Calibos. they come. Here they come. Oh. Oh, hang on a second. There's a supply crate over here. Can't say no to that. Well, I'll have to find out what those crates do, right? Various resources and building materials that can assist the friendly factions of the Dragon Isles in their fight against the Primalists used to purchase items unlocked from Renown. Getting chased by oozers. Thou 
Vakriol, the strongest Tusker. Hang on a second. Just a moment. Just a moment. How tough are you? Come to test the legendary Vakriel. You better believe it, buddy. Oh, somebody else come to test you too. So you're attacking a Tusker? Huh. He's like really, really strong. I suppose it's time to unleash the ancient powers of... Dad, dinner's ready. Oh, well, I can't miss dinner. Oh, until next time. Fair challenger. What? <laughs> oh, Dad, dinner's ready. Oh, I'm sorry. They just dropped this fight. Vakril's strong box. A box so strong. Only wow. The strongest of Tuskers can open it. A Highland... Drake... Find back. Worth it. How can I help? We did it. Great work, Artraxius. Breathe the fresh air again. With this ley line restored and Kadga finishing up on the one in the tower, the Oath Stone should be ready to claim. I must return to the Azure Archives shortly. Keep safe. What brings you here? To Iskara. You know, I still haven't seen the leader of the Brackenhide clan of of Knowles. I haven't seen the leader. Or maybe we did last week, I can't remember, but I don't think I've seen the person. Thank you, Atraxius, for all your help. My family is safe because of you. Now we can finally return to Iskara and see old Panoliak taken back to the sea. He was my mentor and a fine chieftain. Please, you must join us. A celebration of the cycle of the sea is something all can share in. Your help is greatly a- I should get back to the Azure Archives now. I'm glad I was able to help your people, Brenna. Nonsense. You must join us as well. Nothing could be more important than a warm bowl of soup after a difficult battle. And I thought you would want to discuss the other Gleam Coves. Others? You know the locations of more ley lines? Oh, none so large as the one in Brackenhide, but there are many smaller ones scattered about. I have some maps I can show you once we reach Iskara. Oh, well, Caligos is on his way. Where is that? Alright, so we shall. Time to meet fly! Atraxius Airways. <laughs> Iskara Sanctuary. Oh, hang on, what's that over there? There is a fish up there. Interesting, what is that? Shrine? I think so. Not entirely sure. Interesting. Oh. oh, you can kneel down to it? Oh, all right. Oh. Let's make our entrance. Iskara. Norak, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, yes, yes, and I learned much. You see, the decay knows. <laughs> yep. There's a fly path up here, we'll tag that. This place is quite nice. I'm just wondering how is it able to stay afloat? I mean, is this an iceberg or is this a piece of rock that's just got a lot of snow and ice on it? Yeah. Hmm. And I think there's someone that you have to notify about their son's death. Yes, I think the mother probably lives here in this village, probably. I'm sorry for the delay. I'll join you soon. But I think these Tuskar may have some valuable information. 
Cat guy in the mirror image as well. There's no need for concern. Everything is calm up at the tower. I have it perfectly under control. What a charming town. Why don't you relax a bit? Take it easy for once, Kelly. I... Yes. It's been a while. Please, uh, let me know the moment you need anything. I won't be long. You know, last week I was talking about the Tusker and the Knoll not having, like, a, a city, you know, chiseled out of the mountain or, or brick and mortar and, you know, just a proper settlement. I was complaining about that and, you know, asking myself, like, why after 10,000 years, you know, the Knolls and the Tusker still live as subsistence farmers or hunter gatherers or you know people who go by the seasons who migrate on the seasons um but maybe that's how they want to live their lives i mean i see this place this town if i can call it that and you know they are one with nature uh, they recycle anything that they use for food or uh, other forms of utilities you know, they recycle it, they keep the place clean uh, wherever they're staying and they're able to create tents out of large mammoth looking ta uh, like tusks maybe. Um, so yeah, maybe that's how they express themselves th through architecture or civilization building. They keep it natural as much as possible and with a few footprints of their existence in the Dragon Isles. Yeah, maybe that's how they like it. <laughs> the thumbs up. Oh, okay. Well, well now. You well now. certainly different. To Iskara. I'm so glad you have come to join us. I must ask you to be patient, however. There is still much to be prepared for the ceremony. Yes, guys, that is it. That is it with World of Warcraft Dragonflight playthrough part 16 realignment human paladin made on the Azeroth Dan YouTube channel. Um, yeah, we have finally dealt with the situation with the Nulls and their. Um, uh, what is it called again? Not death magic. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Oh no. Uh. But decay, yes, decay magic. <laughs> uh, first of all, Caligos now is the decay magic. I'm forgetting the name. Uh, yes, we've been dealing with the decay magic and the nulls. And, you know, I'm not sure about the leadership structure of the nulls. But, yeah, who's ever leading them, they weren't really doing a good job. Uh, because the decay magic was also spreading in their community. You know, spreading amongst them and infecting them like everything else in the Azure Span forests and yeah it was like a self-inflicted attack you know on themselves uh, and it seemed like they did not understand or how to control uh, this uh, uh, this type of magic and it consumed not only the land not only other um, living beings but also the gnolls themselves so yeah, they were playing with fire and they could not control it. Uh, but finally, you know, with the help of Caligos, Atraxius has been able to repair the ley line and, you know, destroy any form of decay magic that's uh, trying to consume the energy or, you know, destroy the energy uh, uh, that is being created by the ley line, if you can say that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we've been doing here currently, you know, just dealing with the nulls, dealing with any creature that is infected with the decay magic, and then finally dealing with the ley line. 
Um, and Cadgar has also been doing the same mission, well, kind of the same mission, in terms of uh, realigning the uh, the ley lines, if I can say that. And yeah, so Cadgar's finished, Atraxis is finished. I think there's still one or two more steps to go before Caligos can go back and reactivate uh, the old stone. So yeah, can't wait for that to happen. Really, I can't wait for that to happen. Guys, that is it for tonight with Ezra Dan. Remember, if you want to check out the original video as well as Ezra Dan's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. If you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and i'll see you guys hopefully next week monday yes okay good night